Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to find out what is killing your performance inside your game. So this is a nice, quick and easy way to find out what is actually taking up the most amount of time to load in your game, which is going to be bringing down your FPS. So as you can see on screen now, I'm getting roughly 16 to 18 frames per second in this project. And if you want this project, because it is very nice, you can watch my video on screen now for the free for the month stuff for March. And I should mention, by default, this project does get about a solid 60 frames a second. I've just made the performance very bad for the purpose of the video. So that's just a little disclaimer. The actual project itself isn't laggy at all. But back into it, you can see again, I'm getting about 60 to 20 frames a second. Now, I obviously know what's causing this to happen because one, I've done it myself to make it like this on purpose and two this example isn't amazing because you should really be able to tell what's wrong with this anyway because you can see on screen now if I press G all of the lights I have in this level like see like here you can see all of them up here too so I've got about 88 dynamic lights in this level which is obviously causing it to be very laggy so I had to look away from them we get about 40 frames and if I had to look back at them we're getting about 16 to 20 as again I said but let's just imagine, I don't know what's wrong with this, I don't know what's causing it to be laggy, but I know I'm getting not the amount of frames I want. So what we can do is press the little tilde key, or go to the bottom here and press enter console command. Then what we're going to do is type out profile GPU, all one word, and then just press enter. This will take a second to take out a sample of your game, and then it will give you this GPU visualizer here. And let me make this a bit bigger, but here you can see what is in your level, what's in your scene, and what is then going to be taking up the time. So up here we have this nice little graph here, where we can see, if we hover over them, what is taking up the most time. So here is the lights, which again, I knew. So hover over, the biggest one is lights. Then the biggest one after that is the shadow depths, and the lumen scene lighting, and so on and so forth. But if you want even more in-depth, you can go down here under the name. Now at the moment you can see here duration 0 milliseconds all the way down. The majority of them are 0 because again this level is set up very well. But if I were to click on the duration here and click it again, we're then going to have the longest durations at the top, which means the most intensive stuff goes to the top here, which makes it easier for us to find. So our biggest one is duration 52 milliseconds. Well that's just the scene. So we can open up the scene and then again the biggest one here is 21 milliseconds, which is the lights. And then it's the shadow depths, the lumen scene lighting, again, what we saw up here under scene like so. So we can see all of that like this. So let's open lights again, and then you see it's the direct lighting, we'll open direct lighting, unbatch lights, and then you can see all the different lights we have here. So you can actually see which specific lights are the most intensive. So the first one is the directional light, we obviously want to keep that because it's the sun. And after that, it is going to be spotlight 53. So if we to minimize this and search for Spotlight 53, if I just spell it correctly, we have Spotlight 53 here. So this is the most intensive spotlight we have in our level. Reason for that might be because it's inside a tree, so it's got a lot more that is lighting up. But if we but we can then examine that, what I do is hide it. See, that's not actually really adding much to the level. I can live without it there, and I'll just delete it. It's as simple as that. Or what I can do instead is see that is actually adding a fair bit to level. I do want it, maybe that's not the best example. Let's go down to one of these. So this is actually lighting up the ground. Not a lot, because I have lots in here, but let's say I do want to keep this one in here. What I can do instead is maybe set it to static instead of dynamic, and then build the lighting, and that will then be a lot better. Or I can lower the intensity of it. I can change all these details to make it run more efficiently. But again, with this, we can see what is taking up the most amount of performance in our game, what is the most intensive for us to use. And if you want even further for each light, you can see what it is specifically in the lights that is doing this. So for example, it should be a shadow. So what we could do is have it selected, search for cast shadow, and untick that like so, and that will do a lot. But again, for me, I know that it's just these lights. So if we were gonna do it in an extreme way, what we, do, what we can do is GPU profile again, since I have deleted and changed some stuff about. So let's do GPU profile, or sorry, not GPU profile, profile GPU, get that right. And then we have this open here, here again. We'll change these about to get the settings we want. Let's open scene, and we'll see, really, it's all the lights. What are the lights they're doing it? All the spotlights. Do I need all these spotlights in here? No, I don't. So let's have a look. We'll select all of them see what they're doing. 
So this is what the spotlights are doing for me, which is why you can see it's so laggy. I can then be extreme and say, well, this isn't actually doing anything for my level. If I were to delete them or hide them all to preview at first, we can see, well, actually, this does look nicer without those lights. So I'm not going to have those lights. And you can see already it's now gone back up to about 60 frames per second like so. Again, this might not be the best example because I know already what was doing it and it was obviously an extreme example, but it's that easy to find out what it is. So you can go on to profile GPU, let's do it again. And now we should see, well, if we go to the duration here, the scene is now only 17 instead of 52. And if we open it up, it's not lights, it's now post-processing that's the top one. Lights is now the fourth. And if we to open lights, well, it's just the direct lighting of the directional lights. And there's no spotlights in there as well. So again, you can go into this, see what is taking up the most performance in your game, and then modify those for what you want. So you can either just change their details, you can move them, you can delete them, whatever it is, but this is very easy to find out what is killing your performance and how you can best improve it. So you know what changes need to be made to change and improve your game. But I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is use a console command to find out what is killing the performance in our game so that we can change the right things and actually focus our attention on the correct things in our game to turn around and improve our performance. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.